Hello there my crafty little buggers and welcome back to my messy apartment. Also welcome back to another episode of The Good Player. Imagine this. You're playing a character who's been a slave through most of his childhood. He's been rescued by the gypsy trading caravan from the slavers and since then he's pretty much thirsty for a lot of revenge. After some point of time in the campaign, your character ends up in hell, but since his knowledge of planes is basically zero, he doesn't know that he's in hell. And after roaming through the desert and the scorched lands of hell, he ends up at the coast of the river Styx. So what he sees is a bunch of souls driven by a few demons, taking them to make other demons. And what happens actually is that he doesn't see the souls driven by demons. He sees slaves in chains driven by demon slavers. Even though he's seen a lot of stuff, he's not aware of his whereabouts and he's not aware what is actually going on in that scene. So he starts taking the demons down one by one. Every other character would most probably let this slide or sneak past these guys but not this guy, because he's been a slave throughout most of his childhood. Why am I telling you all this? Because playing the character is not doing whatever is needed for the character to survive and for the campaign to go on and on. You can always make a new character. The deal is to play that character through the eyes of that character, not through your own eyes and with your own way of thinking. I would most probably sneak past those guys and find my way back to material plane and be done with it. But this guy, no, he wouldn't. He would seek his revenge out. The deal is to ask yourself not what would I do in that situation, but what would the character do in that situation. So try roaming through that character's past through his background story and see what would drive him to do something like that in a particular situation. And now we come to the part of this video where I thank you for watching and invite you to subscribe to this channel if you're new to it. Go check out my Instagram and Facebook pages for my daily activity. Also, go check out my Patreon page for some patron specials and some cool gifts that you can get if you become my patron. If you share any video from this channel, I would be very grateful because that way you help this channel grow. And as always, this is Crafty and I bid you farewell.